What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pro Guys video. Yo, we all know by this point that being a pro in Fortnite takes a quite a bit of work and dedication, right? However, you know, these aren't the only characteristics a pro player is gonna have. Almost every pro goes through a similar process to improve and get to the level that they wanna be on. Today, we're gonna be going over five reasons you guys haven't gone pro. Ooh, 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 I'm excited about this. And how you actually can get on the fast track to professional gaming. All right, so who wants to be a pro? Come on, raise your hand. Oh, you too? Oh, okay. It's a lot of you guys. All right, cool. But real quick, before we get started, I got a question for you. Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? Well, I'm sure you are. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time if you're not. If you are, make your way over to ProGuys.com, where we have exclusive courses for our pro members made by pros like Mongro. Did you hear me? Mongro. Benji, along with meta articles and videos to keep you guys updated on what's happening in the Fortnite scene. And on top of all that awesome, amazing stuff, you know, we also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from some of the top players in the world. Now, for our question of the day, who's ready for that? Come on. Who do you think is the best pro player like right now? Personally, I know I get asked this question all the time on Insta. I think Benji Fishy is the best player in the world like right now, at least in solos due to his insane cash cup performances and his consistency throughout every event. On the NA side, you know, I think Kanata, he's holding it down, is the best in that region. And he's won so many cash cups, his decision making and rotations are almost flawless and his mechanics back it up nicely. Bravo, bravo. I cannot wait to see the next World Cup or the next major land. To just see them play in the same lobbies, yo, that's going to be crazy. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back to inspire you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. 2020, man, make some noise for 2020 if you're excited. This is your year. So I want you to write down, as I've been saying, write down your goals and go for them. Step outside your comfort zone, face your fears, do things you've never done before, all the things that have been scaring you, all the things that you've been afraid of, go for it, you hear me? Go for it. Step up to the plate, you can do it, all right? Connect with me at my new Insta, at Your Motivation Guy. I wanna connect with you, even personally, all right? I believe in you guys. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Everybody sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Come on, say it with me. It's that bunch of crunch. I heard some of you guys screaming that out. All right, let's do this. The first major downfall of most players, even some competitive players, is their mindset. Everybody say mindset. One thing almost every pro player has in common is that their mindset is positive and they have motivation. Ooh, motivation, that's my one of my top words. To continue and improve, all right? Keeping a positive head and thinking good thoughts, that's gonna make you guys not only feel better this year, but it's also gonna help you improve as a player as well. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how will being positive make me a better player? Good question. Okay, so the way positivity helps you guys improve is in two different ways. First, by improving your actual in-game performance and giving you guys the motivation, that's why I'm here, motivation guy, to keep you guys practicing and improving as a player. All right, so you might have noticed a pattern in the cash cups. Most of the time, the people who plays high, you know, like Kanata, Benji, Unknown, you know, they sometimes have a rough start. They do, they're human, I get it. Even up to like five games with hardly any points sometimes. But they're confident in their skills. They know that they can do it and they pop off in those final games. If Kanata gave up whenever he died to something silly or just got bad RNG, he'd be quitting every tournament and wouldn't be the insane player we all see today. The same goes for any top player. Keeping your motivation is also another major factor. Unfortunately, in terms of like motivation, there's no real strategy or secret tip to stay motivated, unless you keep listening to me. <laughs> but other than that, you know what I'm saying? You have to think about what you're working towards, all right? And not let any bumps in the road make you give up. So we thought you guys might be interested in this post by Young Calculator on Reddit, explaining his story in competitive Fortnite and how he never gave up. And hey, you know, it obviously worked out because he's one of the top amazing players in the game today. All right, so his statement was as follows. About two years ago, in May 2018, I started playing competitive scrims. I continued to do this until around like June 2018, and that's when I started playing in the earliest version of an open scrim discord called Step One. At this point, I was blacklisted from the pro discord because of false allegations of things that happened in a scrim discord called Comp Solo Snipes. It was also the fact that some high-level pros really didn't like me. I grinded constantly, even though I knew I couldn't go anywhere because I was blacklisted at the age restriction of 16. I did it in the hopes that I could compete one day and be successful. Many of my friends who were just as good as me quit along the way before the age limit got lifted because they wanted other things. 
I only got blacklisted around January 2019, and from then, I just kept going on an upwards trajectory. No matter what people say or what happens, do not give up on your grind. Trust me, you will thank me. Obviously, everyone's situations are different, but if you truly think you have the potential to be successful, you shouldn't give up. Just wanted to share my story to give anyone who needs motivation to keep grinding or not give up on Fortnite. Wow, that was great. Now let's head into the next aspect, which prevents you from going pro. You guys ready? Come on. Have you ever been playing the game and gotten super frustrated, whether it's from a stupid death or a sad second place finish or, you know, anything in between, and then notice that you play terribly for the next few games after that? Wow. If you've experienced this, then you're experiencing tilt. So tilt refers to any time you perform poorly due to the result of another game still frustrating you or you just staying in your head about it. Tilting will seriously hurt your performance in game, whether it's in tournaments, zone wars, pub matches, or anything in between. Avoiding tilt is absolutely crucial and it's one of the things that pro players need to know how to do. Pros like Booga, Benji, Mongrel, yes even Mongrel, have mastered the art of avoiding tilt all through different means. There are a few really good ways to avoid tilt and you know what, we gotta talk about them like right now. All right, first off, think of your losses as learning experiences, not really losses. Okay, so think of every death as an opportunity to review and improve based off of, you know, what you did wrong. Second, you got to take a short break if you're on a losing streak. All right, get away, <laughs> get some air, play another game or, you know, just go do something else for a while. Even Booga does this, you know, playing Counter-Strike on stream every once in a while when he gets tired of or mad at Fortnite. Third, you know, we recommend having some other way to just let out your anger. Trust me, I know this because I used to have some extreme anger issues. Some people use stress balls, they actually work. <laughs> some people even use punching bags. Yeah, they work too. Mm -hmm. Finally, a pretty interesting one we've seen on Reddit is to get down and do some push-ups. Come on now, that's what I'm talking about. Do some push-ups, you can get even stronger, you know, get a little buffer, that's cool. It sounds kind of silly, but it actually works. It'll let some of the anger out and energy out and hey, you know, if you're still tilted and have a ton of anger to let out, you're probably the Hulk. No, just playing. You're probably gonna become really dang on good at push-ups as well. Yeah, it's a win-win situation, so do push-ups. That, that that's definitely works. Avoiding tilt and keeping a positive mindset are very important, but now, 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 we're gonna get into some things that you really need to do in-game to actually get better and progress to a high level. All right, starting off by fighting against players who actually give you a challenge. This is something that I see a lot of players not doing, and it's really concerning to see, man. It really is. Okay, so think about it this way. You're not going to improve or gain anything by hanging out with your casual friends and just stumping on them in creative every time you want. The reason fighting against better players is just so much better and it's amazing is because when you fight against a player of equal or similar, you know, that is worse than you, you're usually quite confident playing against them, right? But the moment that you see a player who really knows what he's doing, your entire confidence and muscle memory can just go down the drain. This is why by fighting challenging opponents, you're gonna be forced to adapt to and just learn their strategies and moves, right? And you can even learn to counter them and also replicate them in future fights. Alongside of this, man, fighting against better players sets a high standard for your own gameplay. And by doing this repeatedly, you're gonna end up reaching the same level or even beating your opponent. So to find better players, all right, so this is what you gotta do. We recommend looking in scrim discord such as Atlantis or T1, which you can join basically whenever and playing against a bunch of players, taking note of who's beating you. So, you know, you can play with them more in the future. Most people in these servers are at least decent. And there are definitely some really good players scoping around to play against some randoms as well. Also make sure to box fight and build fight against good players as well as this will definitely help you guys out overall, okay? Another way, guys, to play against better players is to actually play in a scrim or arena game, you know, where most players are pretty decent and are actually playing with something on the line here. Playing in these will give you guys experience against multiple types of play styles and help you improve your game sense as well. Speaking of experience, let's move into the fourth tip, gaining experience. Okay, so we've actually gone over this tip in another video about reducing panic and anxiety, but this tip serves as a different purpose in this video, all right? Sure, you know, gaining experience, that's gonna help you guys reduce your panic and anxiety, which is awesome since you've, you know, have experience in all types of intense situations. But experience, my friends, that's gonna also make you a better player. Putting yourself in different types of situations, especially in high level lobbies like scrim or tournament games, that's gonna make you guys super better and improve your game sense exponentially. And you're gonna learn and adapt to different rotations, you know, different fights, you know, what to do, what not to do in different situations, and just so much more. 
You know, the number one reason why pros are so good is because they play in every tournament. As many scrims as possible, you know, and often as possible. They've been everywhere and done everything in Fortnite to the point where almost nothing can just throw them off guard. Gaining as much in-game experience as possible is absolutely crucial in trying to improve to a pro level. And it's easily the number one reason that pros manage to get to and even move past the level that they're at. Playing in high-level lobbies, guys, in tournaments as often as possible is super underrated. And spending as much time as possible in these games is super important. The last tip, if you ever want a chance to get better, is to VOD review your games, especially tournament and scrim games. I say this all the time on my Insta. To VOD review, we recommend saving any replay where you've gotten confused as to why, like how you died. Analyze the replay and just see what led up to your death and what you could have changed or done better during the game. You might see pros like Tifu and Mr. Savage VOD reviewing live on their streams. Also, if you want a second opinion on your gameplay and VODs, we offer 24-7 coaches who are happy to check out your gameplay and give you guys a professional opinion of where you can improve, all right? Head on down to ProGuides.com if you're interested in checking that out because getting a second opinion can really help out a whole lot, especially if you can't find what you did wrong on your own. VOD reviewing, my friends, is super important and almost every pro does it. It's an amazing and simple way to improve your game sense and decision making on your own and fighting the minor holes in your gameplay that might be holding you back. All right, so we've gone over quite a bit during this video, all right? So let's quickly recap everything we've talked about. First, having a positive mindset is absolutely crucial and avoiding tilt using multiple different strategies is a great way to keep a good mindset and avoid performing poorly due to anger. Fighting and playing with better players is important as well as you can adapt and just learn their strategies and tactics so you can not only counter them, but learn to use them on your own. Gaining experience in high-level lobbies and intense situations is also hugely important, and it's gonna improve your game sense and get you used to many types of situations and engagements. Finally, my friends, VOD reviewing your games is great, and looking for the minor holes and issues in your gameplay can be the difference between wins and losses in high-level games. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guide. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me at my new Insta at your motivation guy because I am your motivation guy. I really, really am. I'm rooting for you guys. I'm cheering for you. I am your number one fan. Go get it this year. All right, you could do it. Try utilizing these tips as much as possible, and you're gonna be on your way to an exponential improvement, potentially to a pro level. So we really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS in the Fortnite item shop. Whenever you make any sort of purchases, you know, it just really helps us out, and we really, really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see next on the channel. We aim to bring you guys the best daily Fortnite content so do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. We'll see you next time.